Welcome to this video series on making use of the eView TPS sensor with the eView Sense app. This video will continue from where we left off in the previous video, where the training session just finished and we're now in review mode. As you can see at the upper left of this review mode window, there is the initial date when the training program first began, and towards the upper right we can see the total number of points that remain within the training program. For those of you who do not remember, the program is a series of 10 training sessions where we're trying to achieve a fixed number of points uh, as an indication of our mastery of self-regulation. In the middle of this window, we can see there's the three biosignal symbols uh, with numbers that represent the total average of success index of all training sessions that have been recorded within this program. In terms of temperature, it currently says 76%, and that means that our average temperature in relation to that 0 to 100 success index at 76. Similarly, the heart for heart variability currently says 55, and so the average for all training sessions is a success index of 55 in the 0 to 100 success index range. And for skin conductance, it's 74, so across all the sessions, the average success index is 74. At the bottom of this window, you can see two bar graphs that represent the individual points scored for the two training sessions I have recorded. Currently, session number one, which I actually recorded without anyone watching, I received 20 points. And in the second session, which was featured in the training video, I scored 24 points. This essentially means that I did better in the second session as compared to the first session. If I swipe up from the bottom, I can reveal training session specific information as opposed to global data that was previously shown. Currently we're looking at session number one and I can see the label for that in the middle on the left as well as I can see the first bar graph at the top is highlighted in blue to show that that is the session we are focusing on. In the middle of this window we can see the biosignal symbols once more and these success index averages that are listed are in relation to this single training session only. The very bottom is a multi-line graph, and this graph represents the changes in those biosignal values in terms of the 0 to 100 success index scale over the period of the training session. So for temperature, which is represented by the lighter blue, we can see the beginning of the session, it was continuously going up, and then remained very high towards the mid and end of session in relation to the 0 to 100 success index. We can see that the low frequency percent of total power that represents the heart variability in white, began actually going down a little bit and we're just sort of floating up and floating down, but not particularly getting better throughout the session. For skin conductance in dark blue, we can see it had a similar type of waveform as the heart variability metric, although it was a little bit higher. If I swipe towards the right, I can move forward and look at the next training session and see the moment to moment changes of those different biosignal values there. You can keep swiping left and right to jump between any of the sessions that you have already recorded. Now if I swipe back from the top to the bottom to return to the initial global results, I can see these previous numbers that are sh shown. If I have recorded multiple training programs at this point, I could swipe left and right to look at those previous programs. I, however, have not done that with this profile, and so I'm not allowed to do that. If we hit the back button on the tablet or smartphone, this will return us back to the EVSense main menu. Join me for the last video in this series where I go over the various parameter settings we can alter before we run a practice or training session. These different parameters can be found by going to the EVSense menu at the upper left, which I'm currently revealing right now.